Welcome everyone back again to the session. Um, this is the second session in, in, in the series on talking about last planner implementation using the web-based application uh, developed by Constology. Um, to start with, I'm going to log in. I have created a new account so we can see that all the setup done uh, from scratch. So let's go ahead with today we're going to investigate that section of the organization and we're going to show how we create it step by step um if the video gets longer we're going to break it into several sessions but i'm hoping to get that done quite quickly so to start with we're going to start with the reporting cycle and in that reporting cycle what we need to do is to fill this information in there so let's say that we're trying to produce a weekly uh, progress and this should be a unique thing, so I would say you just keep it some numbers or some something to, just to keep it um, unique. And then we can say weekly reporting cycle. Um, and then cycle types is week and the value of it is one, which means that we're doing weeks and we're doing one week as interval. And the week starts on Monday. That's how we operate in the UK. Uh, I know that in other countries the week starts on Saturday or Sundays. So you just you can just do all the settings that you need from here. Um, why this information is important? Because when you have when you will set up your project, you will have a start and finish date, and then it will calculate reporting periods. And these reporting periods will be used later on to produce your look ahead, your weekly work plan and everything would be driven from these dates so oh, it's it's quite important to get this setup done pro properly uh what we what, when we finished what we need to do is just hit save and then it will show that you have reporting cycles we have one reporting cycle which is weekly reporting cycle that one that we created if you want to view it or edit it you can just go back and edit it uh, from here um as you can see we're going in sequence so that process here is quite sequential so we can go through it one by one uh, next step we go to roles and then we can just add a role and we say that project directive directive and it he has no manager as his first role that we create so the project directive is the first role has no manager let's add another one another role like project manager and we say the project director is the manager of a project manager which means that it, there is hierarchical information and uh, you can see here the role name and reports to so the project director reports to nobody project managers report to project director uh, let's create our first project and we can call it like um, tutorial building or actually that should be just a unique ID so we can call it building G plus five and then we can call it tutorial building the start of the project would be the date and then let's give it like six months whatever. so let's finish in June 24 and the description of the project this is the five tutorial building used for a website. And then here we define the reporting cycle. We have only one option to select, and it's important to select an option. And then we click on save. Now we have the project defined. We need to assign the users. And as you can see, we went through the sequence one by one till we reached the last sequence. sequence. So in this user tab, we have two options, uh, uh, or we can do two things, or multiple things, but two main tasks. Like you can create a new user, so we can just say a new user, anyone, or let's say project manager, 
and use them in the um, section one and then email, let's say PM section one psychology.com. Uh, then we give it the password and repeat the password again that should match it should exactly match and then whether we want him an admin or not we keep him as non-admin and let's do that so now we're done with that um, project manager so let's assign now responsibilities we just need to select a project and then when we select the project it's displayed in here here is the name of the organization, here is the name of the project, and the, name of the username of the current user. But because I'm, ad I'm admin, so I can select any of the users, so I'll select myself as an imam, as a project director, and if hit save, that will show me that the project assignments are project directors in here. But if I want to go back to users and select the other user, assign, and then select the other user, the PM section 1, as a project manager, and hit save. Um, that's it for the first part. We say we show that how we can do the initial setup, and as the initial setup is done, we will move into the next series or the next section on how to define the project and start with defining what are the causes of delay, reasons for the delays, and um, uh, constraints analysis, and all sorts of things that will be will get us into the details of implementing the last planner system as we discovered in the uh, theoretical series um, that's it for now and thank you for watching please like and subscribe in order to get notified with the latest videos that i'm going to release on this series thank you see you in the next session